So today's video, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different on this channel. You know me, I don't really talk about NFTs much, but there's something that is spectacular that's happening right now on the Bitcoin side of things. And I'm talking about on-chain monkey and this is fine art on Bitcoin. What? Are you serious? This is history in the making. We're going to explain it. Hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. Guys, we're going to get busy and get straight into this video. Moonshot to the next like moonshot next. Got him catching drip. You will make the room hot deck. I rack up stacks. My platoon call back. No cap. I can make drip. Boom. All caps. You know I'm dripping, dripping deep. All no cap. I, I can make this drip. All boom. I see all caps. to the last drop, drop. What is art? What constitutes something selling for $5 million and something for not? Art can be subjective since it's an expression of personal perspective. So let's talk perspective. These are monkeys, on-chain monkeys to be exact, and there are 10,000 of them. Each one worth around $4,000 at the time. With its simple geometry and vibrant colors, each piece is art in its deepest form because of the history in what I like to call innovative crypto art. In September 2021, they were the first 10,000 PFP collection to be created on chain, on Ethereum, all in one transaction. This wasn't just an artistic endeavor. It was a groundbreaking technical innovation. The all-star team behind it. Chairman Bill Tai, first investor of Zoom and early investor of Canva and Dapper Labs. CEO Danny Yang, creator of MyCoin, the largest central exchange in Taiwan. And Amanda Terry, former executive of Twitter and NBC. At the start of 2023, they made a historical leap, the shift over to Bitcoin. The move wasn't merely a change of platform. It was a strategic enhancement. Inscribing all 10,000 PFPs again. The art of Genesis on Bitcoin is not simply the image. It's the way that it uses the medium. The combination of recursive inscriptions, parent child provenance, early sequential block nine sats, and matching sat numbers are all a part of the art. Inscriptions are immutable. There were no do-overs if there were any errors. Each of the 10K Genesis had to be inscribed perfectly, each on their respective sets with no room for any kind of mistakes. In a few days, the community of 10,000 will begin their journey from Ethereum to Bitcoin. So before we get to the NFTs, ladies and gentlemen, let's start a little class session right now because let's define what an ordinal is and what is the difference between that and an NFT on Ethereum. Now, NFTs on Ethereum essentially functions as a what? As a digital certificate of ownership. The certificate exists only on the blockchain, but the item itself, such as like, let's say a digital picture, the crypto punks, whatever, remains off chain. This creates a need for trust, right? Because we have to trust that this certificate is actually linked to that item that is off chain. So what do we do? Now we have an ordinal, right? With Bitcoin ordinals, ownership of the digital item, whether it's a digital artwork or in-game item, is directly on the blockchain. So basically, ordinals are a game changer. So the digital artifacts enhance the security of your asset, but most importantly, they create the ideal state of digital ownership, one that was impossible before the ordinals on Bitcoin. All right, so let's talk about the massive potential. I know people care about the security and all that digital ownership stuff, but yo, how much money can these NFTs possibly be worth? And we're gonna talk about the ordinals and their massive potential because let's reflect on the market performance of ETH versus the Bitcoin bull run last time. And ETH achieved a what? All time high of what? 571 billion in market cap. And this all-time high ETH NFT marketplace, right, reached a market cap of 16.5 billion. So Bitcoin, on the other hand, reached an all-time high of what, 1.2 trillion. So that means if Bitcoin returns to the all-time high, and then the market cap is just two percent. How much is that, man? That's about twenty-four billion dollars. Now, Ordinal's market cap is below a billion dollars. So we already know that this has a massive opportunity, especially when you know crypto punks are reaching a selling milestone of twenty-three point seven million dollars. So imagine how much these Bitcoin Ordinals right here of on-chain monkeys could be worth if it's the first and rarest of its kind. All right, so jumping into the website right here, guys, onchainmonkey.com, we are going to take a look at these valuable on-chain monkeys, especially the fact that they are going to Bitcoin. Now, OCM, on-chain monkey genesis, basically is the first of its kind, 10K NFT collection that's going to be on Bitcoin. Now, this entire 10K collection was the first of its kind on Ethereum on September 2021, 
which makes it a creation of a very special technical innovation because after that everybody was doing 10k collections and stuff like that now on chain monkey genesis grants you entry into a vibrant network of global trailblazers innovators entrepreneurs athletes artists philanthropists and investors we have been breaking new ground since september 2020 one so before you get to the purchasing of nfts and trying to find the rarest you know the level six and up and all that you're gonna need to have a bitcoin wallet a rabbi or a metamask simply won't cut it you know what i'm saying you gotta have to go to where xverse.app which is the number one bitcoin wallet for everyone all you gotta do is click on what click on download right over here guys and then you're going to be able to download it in your mobile app or download it for your browser extension right over here. Then, of course, you're going to copy down the seed phrase. Never give up your seed phrase, you know, uh, do your own research and all that stuff. And then you're going to be able to house what? You're going to be able to house all of your ordinals, your BRC20s, your Bitcoin and all that good stuff right there. So before I show you exactly how to purchase the NFTs, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to show you a Bitcoin art gallery over here, Osura, where you can see all of the Bitcoin artwork and stuff like that. This is super bullish over here. Don't forget, you need to have a Bitcoin wallet and you connect it over here. But let's go to the on-chain monkey over here, guys. And if you click on gallery, right, the Genesis gallery, it's going to show you a whole bunch of of nfts over here and don't forget you need a level six or above so for example if genesis level six this one right here i believe is worth about um two if which is not bad which is still a lot of money but if you want to purchase some nfts guys you are going to go to open c there's different options over here and as you can see you could buy this nft over here um you could also let me click on it you could also make an offer as well as you can see, these NFTs are holding their value, man. This one right here is 4,578 bucks, man. And this is a whole lot of money, man, for uh, for NFT. But if you turn this into a Bitcoin ordinal, man, this right here could be worth 10 times that amount, even 50 times that amount. Who knows? You know, who knows why people are willing to pay for something that they love? And that's the thing about art. You know, art has value in the eyes of the beholder. So therefore, this NFT could be worth $55,000 one day. Who knows? So now that you got your NFT on Ethereum, it's time to, you know, transition to it for the Bitcoin ordinal. So OCM Genesis owners can upgrade their Genesis to Bitcoin using the portal feature on our website. This portal will only be open on November 30th from 9 a.m. PT and close on November 30th at 9 p.m. PT. But don't worry about it, guys. I know today is December 1st, but all OCM Genesis with a Bitcoin badge will be able to upgrade during this time. The next portal will open next week. So the fact that you didn't get in yesterday, I totally get it. But next week, there's going to be another day to do it. And don't forget the OCM Genesis is the collection of first, the first 10K collection to migrate from ethereum to bitcoin first 10k collection to use a parent child provenance first 10k collection inscribe on block 9 uh hyphen 450x satoshis and done sequentially first 10k images of a collection ever inscribed on bitcoin in inscription in the 2219 so i don't know what most of that stuff means but i just know it's the first and the first when it comes to art is the one that's the rarest and the one that's the rarest is the one that makes money so hey all right, guys, so there you have it, man. The on-chain monkey find art on Bitcoin. History in the making is happening right now, guys. And we know that these are NFTs that holds a whole lot of value, but could be a lot more valuable once they transition to the Bitcoin. So hit that like, smash that, subscribe for your boy, because this is your boy, Moonshot Max, take you straight to the moon. I'm going to see you guys on my next video pretty, pretty soon. So peace out.